Okay, Sanhedrin paid Dalit Amid Aleph. Um, and the Shatan Sins Gemara, it's 84A1. Okay, we're about to finish this parak of Anisrafim. Okay, the Gemara mentioned a number of, a number of things with Kayin and Tomei, uh, all that, that the Chayiv Misa. Right? Misa with the Shemaim if they do it. Certain things are only a love. That means you don't get killed, but you get Malchus, because it's a negative commandment. Okay? How far are we now? Amid Aleph. Um, second line from top. Okay, the Gemara says like this: Einim min olon. In the price it said before that an Einim, again, a mourner from the time of death until the Levaya, is called an Einim. Okay, he's not obligated in mitzvahs. But how do we know that an a Kayin who's an Einim who works in the base of Migdash only gets? A love, he doesn't get me. So how do you know Bukhal he gets a love? Because it says, I mean, Migdash it says about the Kain Gadol, he shouldn't leave the Migdash. Migdash he shouldn't profane the temple of Hashem. So a person who's not a Kain Gadol, mean a regular Kain, Chilal does desecrate the the, Mishk, the base of Migdash. So there's a there's a din in the tell you're not allowed to desecrate the base of Migdash. The fact that Aaron Akain Godel is told, no, you can work as an Ainin and you're not going to desecrate, means a regular Kain that works in the base of Megdash as an Ainin does desecrate. And the Torah says, well, you hallow, don't desecrate. So therefore, he'll get Malchus. Not Misa, but it's a love. Amalei Ravad, Lerovah, it's Ravad, it's said to Rovah, but he should be Chayiv Misa. Why? Nelev, Chilo, Chilo, Mitruma. Let us learn out Chilol by Truma. And what's the din by Truma? It's Chayiv Misa. Right? Ma'ala halim by Misa, just like by Truma. If a person whose tummy eats Truma, we learn, a kind whose tummy eats Truma, we learn the din is he's Chayiv Misa. So in Einim, we should also learn the Gzair Shava that we're learning Chilol, Chilol. And just like a kind tummy eating Truma gets Misa, so in Einim should also get Misa. One minute. The Gemara says, "Miksiv <coughs> gufe is the word chilol. It doesn't say chilol by a regular kain. The word leyechalal says by a kain gadol. Yes. We just learn out that a kain gadol doesn't leyechal. But a, but you can learn out a din of a regular kain from a word that doesn't say by a kain. It only says it by a kain gadol." So therefore, you can't go that. Mikvah Kosov, we only learn it out like this. Because a Kayin Gadol doesn't desecrate, a regular Kayin would desecrate. Right? That's what we learn out. But it's not a din clearly by a regular Kayin. So you can't learn out. That's the rule. You can't learn out Xayda Shava unless if the word is by the person himself. Here, the word is not by a regular Kayin, it's by a Kayin Gadol. From a Kayin Gadol, we learn out a regular Kayin. That a kohen gadol does not desecrate, and a regular kohen does. A kohen gadol is a kohen <clears throat> gadol, but is he not also a regular kohen? No, he's plus. I mean, he is plus, but aside from being a plus, he is yeah. also a regular kohen. I understand, but the din of not desecrating is only for a kohen gadol. The Torah says mm-hmm. that a kohen gadol works as an einin. Because if he doesn't, he's mechalal. If he doesn't work as an einen, then he desecrates. But that's only a unique kain gadol. Because by all the other things, the marshal, a kain gadol doesn't become tummy even for family, for nobody. Okay. Now the gemara says like this: Yeshu minolon. One of the things that Mar- the Bryce has said before, a Kayin has to stand when they do the Avaida. What happens when a Kayin sits and does the Avaida? So then the Gemara the Bryce has said before, it's not Misa, it's only a love. Right? But where do we learn out that you're not allowed to sit while you're working in the base of Migdash? Amir of Amir of Nachman, Amir Kral, the Pasik says like this. Because in the coin Hashem chose Mikosh Fatecha from all your tribes. Hashem, meaning Hashem chose the coin from all the tribes. Lamaid Ulashares. 
to stand and to serve. Meaning, what did I pick him for? That he should stand when he does the Aveda, Volala Yeshiva. Okay, so again, the Gemara says simply, but it's not, doesn't say Misa, there's nowhere to learn out Misa. Bottom line is, it's a love. So if a Kayan did the Aveda when he was sitting, he gets Malchus. Balmum, how do we know a blemished Kayan also if he does the Aveda? It's a love and not Misa. Rebbe, so, but it's interesting. Rebbe, Amen, Bemisa. Rebbe, Taka, and the Gemara is going to explain why Rebbe holds it. Rebbe says, okay, and who's a Balmum? There's like 50 something blemishes of a coin. By the way, one of them is a left handed. It's very interesting. A left handed coin is a moon. That makes a big difference. I know the left handed people are not going to like it, but that's the bottom line. So he says, a bal moon, if he works. So Rebbe says, taka bimisa. Rebbe says, he got misa. Chamein <coughs> bazara. So now the Gemara is going to learn out why does Rebbe say misa and why does Rebbe say, why does Chacham say only a love? My time of the Rebbe, why does Rebbe say the guy gets Misa B'day Shemayim? By the way, it's interesting. What did the blemish Kayanim do in the base of Migdosh? Check the, worms. Check the worms. They go through all the wood, because the word, wood that they put on the, the burnt on the Mizbech was not allowed to have any worms in it. So Baal Mum Kayan couldn't do Avaid in the base of Migdosh. What did he do? What was their job? Sitting a whole day, going through the wood, making sure there are no worms. That was their job. So going back a few steps, a, a regular coin must desecrate himself for for. No, he's not. A coin Godel is allowed to work when he's a uh, Einen. Yeah, but a, a regular coin not. He a must. A regular coin should not. And, and should take uh, his time and go and uh, take care of the dead. Yeah, yeah. For seven days. Yeah, I mean, and a coin uh, must work, or he could work. A coin Godel must work. <clears throat> and uh, what's Ansara? So that means a love. I know. What kind of hazard? It's just. What uh, well, the Gemara is going to learn? What's it? The Gemara is going to learn. What the, where, where do we find the love? Okay, my time with the Rebbe. First, the Gemara says, "What's the reason, Rebbe, why is Chayiv Misa?" Because it says, "Alach Hapareches Loyavet." Okay, it's the pasuk says like this: He shouldn't come. Okay, it speaks about a Balmum. He shouldn't come to the Pareches, and over there the pasuk says, "Chilil v'lo yechalil." You shouldn't desecrate. So Rabbi says, the yal of chilo chilo truma. So then you learn out chilo again, chilo chilo from truma. By Baumum it says chilo. By truma, who's if, if you tell me and eat truma, it's chilo. So mala halim b'misa. Just like truma, if a kain is tummy eats truma, you get misa. I've come b'misa. So the Gemara asks, one minute, why are you learning chilo chilo from from truma? Neil chilo chilo minaisar. Learn Chilo from Naisa, and over there it's cut, it's not a Misa B'day Shemayim. Right? The Gemara sa- Rabbi says, a Bamum, it says Chilo. By Truma, if a Kayin's Tama eats Truma, he gets Chilo. So I'll just say, like, over there's Misa, here's Misa B'day Shemayim. So the Gemara says, one minute, why don't you learn out from Naisa where you get Kodis? So the Gemara says, Mistabra, Ava Mitruma, Ava Leila Melech. You have to learn it out from Truma. Why? Shekain, Sul Haguf, Mipsul Haguf. What's this case of Kain Tomei eating Truma? The Kain is Tomei. What's a Balmum? The Kain is a Balmum. What's Naisar? You leave the animal over after the allotted time. It's the animal. It's the animal. <coughs> See, what's closer? Balmum is a blemish in the person. Tomei is a blemish in the person. So you learn out person from person. So the Rebbe says, why should I learn it out from Naisar? If you, learn, if you have two choices... To learn it out from a kain tame truma. Or nice, he says, of course I'm going to learn out from kain tame, because it's the person. So the Gemara says, Ad Rabba, me nice ava leila melev, you should learn it because there's closer connection to nice ad. Shekain, kaidish, it deals with holy things. Put pinim inside the base of Migdosh, and it's also pig of a nice ad. The Gemara says like this. But from Satan's side, from the opposite side, there's a reason to say you should learn enough from Naisa because in a bunch of things, it's connected, it's similar to Naisa. Yeah, like before. Right. So then, the Elam Itamish Shishimish I'm so sorry, I don't understand. You have a choice to learn out Balmum, yeah, either from Tamei, cold, cold, Tamei, or Naisa. 
So the Gemara says, well, it's more similar to tummy because it's the body, body versus uh, the animal, right? But the Gemara says, one minute, but in certain things, it's more similar to nice and five things. But the Gemara says what they are. Uh, uh, Kaidish has to do with holy things. It's inside the base of Migdash. Called the Kamban is inside the base of Migdash. Baal Mum is working inside the base of Migdash. So it's more connected. The Gemara just says in, in more cases, it's connected to nicer than it is to Baal Mum, to or Tamei. So the Gemara says, no, Elam Tamei Shishimish Gamar. We learn it out not from a tummy that eats tuluma. We learn it out from a tummy that serves in the base of Mikdash. In other words, about a Balmum, we're likening now to a Kain tummy who not eats truma, but works inside the base of Mikdash. What? Why would we compare? Why would we have a have a minute to compare a Balmum to a Noisar? Because in person. five things it's similar but to Nicer. And that's a thing. But yeah, but still, in five things it's similar to Nicer. And what about the. Uh, Only one thing. Uh, it's the person himself. The Gemara says, okay, uh, <coughs> if five things is better than one thing. Okay, so why does the, the Gemara reject that then? Because then with the Gemara's question, why do you learn. You should learn out from Nicer. That he's only caught it. So oh, so the Gemara says, we don't learn it out from Truma. Why? Well, Gemara says. We don't learn from Truma? No, we don't, we don't learn it out Balmum. From Truma, we learn about Balmum from a Tome, not who eats Truma. Because that's outside the base of Migdash. What do we learn it out from? A Tome who served in the base of Migdash. A kind, again, that's body and body, Balmum. And it's not, this is all inside the base of Migdash. A kind whose Tome serves in the base of Migdash, he gets Misa. Okay, so the Gemara says. One more question. What? Why do we have to learn the laws of Balmum from Tame or Nisar? Why do not you learn it from itself? Because it doesn't say Misa. There's no laws about Balmum? No, it just says, they sell Chalel, to desecrate. It just so says to we desecrate. Want, we want to learn the punishments associated yeah, with it? Yeah, yeah. So the Torah, question is... The Torah doesn't, it's, itself doesn't give him any punishments associated with Balmum? No, it just says so you shouldn't desecrate, which is a law. So you have to learn it either from... Uh, from Nicer from, 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 from somewhere else. But then the Gemara says... But then the Gemara says it's not similar. Okay, so the Gemara says like this. Kaidish p'nim pigo v'naisar mi kaidish p'nim pigo v'naisar. And what does it mean? What does the Chachamim hold? Why did the Chachamim hold? It's only a lav, it's not misa. Because Amar Kra. Because by a crane who eats truma when he's tummy or works in the base of Migdosh, the Pasik uses the word boy. He. Which means Balmum. The word boy means he desecrates. Which means somebody else doesn't desecrate. So the trade itself excludes a Balmum. It only includes a tummy. It it excludes a Balmum. And that's what the Gemara says. So according to Lepel, the Gemara says like this, a Balmum that serves in the base of Mikdash, according to Rabbi, he's Chayiv Misa B'day Shemaim, because we learn it out. Rabbi says we learn it out from a Tommy who serves in the base of Mikdash, that gets Misa. And the Chachamim say no, because he can't learn it out from a kind Tommy who works, because by a kind Tommy who works, it says, boy, him, he desecrates, which excludes a Balmum that he doesn't desecrate. So you have to you compare it to Noisa? So therefore, no. Therefore, it's only a lav. So what did the Chachamim hold? You get a lav. You get Malchus. Thank you. You get Malchus. <laughs> you don't get Misa. And, and this is only if he knows his Balmum and he does serve. Right. If he doesn't know. Then Shady. Then Shady. When he doesn't know. Well, where's the, 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 the list of 50 uh, in Yanim and the, the list of 50? Oh, the Rambam brings it down when he talks about the dinam of Kayanim in the base of Migdosh, in the Vedic base of Migdosh. The Rambam says all the, enumerates all the blemishes of a Kayan. I mean, there's a lot, a lot that the Psukim uh, enumerate. You know, if his eyebrows are connected, if, if his eyes are not straight. If but there's a bunch one that. One uh, is bigger than the other. Yeah, but like a left handed, the Terry doesn't say. What's considered left handed? He writes with his left hand. No, some people. I, 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 Those I, that belong I, to the left hand society, you know, there's a uh, thing, <laughs> organization of left handed people. No, I write with right, right <coughs> but I throw with left. Democrat. No, so by Tfilin, we learned 
during the week <coughs> between Minchamayev. Tefillin is a unique din that you go by writing. Because this is a kshartam, leisa yedacha, or chsavta That's the stronger hand. So therefore, by tefillin, the rishen, I mean, the halacha is it goes by writing. Unless, if you write with your right, and you do everything else with your left. Or you write with your left, by the way, it's not so uncommon, and you do everything else with your right. Okay, so that's that's a big machlekes, I mean, even in our circle, between al and Samach Sadek. al says you only go by writing, Samach Sadek says if you do everything else with the other hand, you go by everything else. But it's a big machlekes in all the paskim, saying... But that's only by tefillin, because the text is ukshartam ukshartam. By other things, the definition of left-handed person is not necessarily only go by writing. By the most of the things that you do with your left hand. There's a safer now called Iter A few already. I have it. It's this thick. All the dinam of left-handed person. But that's a Chabad guy wrote it. So it's all called the Chabad, you know, Poskim. But uh, there are a lot of Sfarim in, in Alocha. Even the Cyclopedia told me this has like 20 pages in Iter and left-handed people what are they? There's a lot of din. What hand do you hold the tzitzis in? What hand do you hold? Okay, in Shchonarch it says clearly a lulav the mashal. A left-handed person holds a lulav in the left hand. It's because it's their right hand. The Mosh Eve, I'll tell you another inter- interesting example. A left-handed person washes for bread, yeah? Or in the tils, you down, what hand do you wash first? Left hand. So most pos, interesting, most poskim, most poskim hold the right hand. Why? Supreme Godim. The Tamachsedic holds. No, you do the left hand. So we wash. I mean, I'm not left handed. I have in laws that are left handed, and the grandkids that are left handed. But left handed people, according to our minig, Tamachsedic holds not like the Prima Godim, that you wash the left hand first. Most Poskim, or Chizchayim, a lot of Poskim bring down the washing, you wash the right hand first, even though you're left handed. There's a lot of differences. What hand do you use for Shema? There's a lot of differences. A lot of Paschim define it very simply. When you're talking about using the right hand because it's more prominent. No matter what. No matter what. Moshe, why do you hold Kiddush cup in your right hand? Because it's the more prominent hand. You're making Kiddush. Or the then before you eat a food. Yeah, you have to hold it in your right hand when you make the bracha. You have to hold it in your hand. Yeah. So why do you hold it in the right hand? Because right, there's more chashiv than left. So therefore, you hold it in the more prominent <clears throat> hand, yeah? But by you, if you're left-handed, that's your prominent hand. The issue becomes with people who are ambo. Ambidec- Ambidextrous. I mean, yeah, they do... I write with right, but I, I throw with left. Yeah, so, but it depends. People that do 50-50 have a dinner of a right-handed person, if they write with the right. I understand why a left-handed uh, con shouldn't work in bed time of Why? It could be because... A left-handed person, like in sports, have an advantage over his opponent because it confuses them. Yeah, but you guys, are, you guys don't play baseball. Uh, you can't have a left-handed shortstop. That's very much true in martial arts. You know, basically, you don't know baseball. Yeah, in, you guys in are other literate. sports, though. You can't have a left-handed shortstop. I don't know. Or third baseman. You can't. There's, there's no there's arts, thing a left-handed shortstop. What? In, in martial arts or boxing... <laughs> okay, the left-handed people all say the left-handed are smart. And I know I have a wife that's left-handed, <laughs> but my wife is interesting. She writes on paper with her left hand. She's basically a lefty. She writes on, on paper with her left hand. But when she was a kid in school, and you know they used to the kids used to come up to write on the board, she had a teacher that refused and didn't let her write with her left hand on the board. Forced her. forced her to write, I don't know if she smacked her, but she forced her to write on the board with the right hand. So on the board, my wife was a teacher for many, many years. On the board, she wrote with the right hand. She can't write with the left on the board. On paper, she only writes with the left, not the right. And it's identical writing, but she can't switch it. She can't write on paper with her right or on the board with her left. Interesting. I told her she's unique. Conditioning. It's conditioning. They no, say, that's say, what they got used to. They say those people are brilliant because they use both sides of their brain. Okay, very good. <laughs> but in Aloha, in Aloha, there's a lot of dinam when, you know. You but say but it, 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 then you have, it's more interesting, it's a regal. 
Left-handed foot also applies to many dinim. For instance, chalitza, we use the foot, right? Mm-hmm. You take off the shoe, what you put on the shoe, take off the shoe, that's chalitza, yeah? So over there, there's a whole list. There's in, in, in halacha, there's something called iteregel. So in halacha, how do you define iteregel? It's interesting. If you stand straight subconsciously and you start walking, what foot goes first? Right. No, left-handed foot would... But yeah. today you can classify much simpler. What foot do you kick with? <clears throat> One of my yak is right-handed and left-footed. My brother also is right-handed. He's right-handed and left-footed. So what do you do at uh, which, which, which... No, that you go... Uh, left and right, right? Coming back left? No, you go, just take everybody else. Unless you're left with it, person. No, no also not. Okay. Anyway, but it, in the, in the base of Middash, it's considered a blemish. But well, years ago, people, like I said, that teacher used to force it to write what people considered left handed uh, something wrong with you. No, really. That, like, yeah, make sure you do the right. Okay. Okay, now the Gemara says, say, here's it from Me'ila. Me'ila says like this. Me'ila is like this. What's Me'ila? Somebody misuses the base of Migdash. Things. Objects at the base of Migdash, right? So if you do a Bishai gig, you have to bring a carbon Me'ila plus an additional fifth and so on, right? Now, what happens? Here's it from Me'ila. A guy intentionally misused objects at the base of Migdash. What's the punishment? Rabbi Yaim Bemisa. Again, the same argument. Rabbi holds, Mira Nasi holds, he get Misa, because it's bemazed, be, be and Chom say it's only a laugh. My time with Rabbi, why does Rabbi hold Misa from Meila? So he says, Amir Ababu, Gomer Chet Chet Mi Trum. He learns out Zayr Shava by Meila, it says Chet, by Trum, it says Chet, Mala Halim Bemisa. Again, just say by Trum, if you're Tomei, the punishment is Misa, I've come by Misa. But I've born in Amin, but Chum say no. Amin Kra, the Tater says, boy, by Meila, the Tater says, no, I'm sorry, by your kind Tommy who eats Truma, the Tater says, boy. Yeah? Which means him, only he gets Misa, but it excludes everybody else that they don't get Misa. Okay, Zar Shishim is Bemigdosh. Okay? Now, in the, base, in the Mishnah, it said, now this is going back to the mission of, of uh, Misa, not... So it says like this, a non kain who served in the Beis HaMikdash gets Skila, I mean, no, Chanek. The Mishnah says Misa is a Chanek. Yeah, he gets strangled. Chachamim say Misa B'day Shemayim. That's what the Mishnah said before. Okay, whatever. So now the Gemara says like this. Tanya, Rabbi Shmuel, Eimer, Rabbi Shmuel says like this. Nama kana zar kariv yumas. But here it says, a zar ha kariv, a non-koyin. Right? Zar is any stranger. A levy, anybody, not koyin. Who comes close, gets misa. Gets chayiv misa. Right? Meaning, a non-koyin who goes to work by the mizbeach, Says El Mizbeach Le Yikrav, right? And then the Pasuk says, Hazar Akariv, you must get Misa. And here it says, Kol Akariv, Kariv Mishkan Hashem Yomus. And then it says, anybody that comes close to the Mishkan is also going to die. Okay? Meaning, what was this? That's the Pasuk after Kairach's story. Yeah? After Kairach, the Torah says, okay, Kairach's Chavi got killed, and then the Torah says, so just like over there is Misa Bide Shemayim, Avkam Misa Bide Shemayim. The same thing as Zod, who works in the base of Migdosh, Rabbi Shmuel says, is Chayiv Misa. So we learn it out, okay, the, from an Azara Kariv Yumas to another Zara Kariv Yumas, right? 
teaches us a Zod who works in the base of Mignosh, you must get Smitsu Bidei Shemayim. Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva says, no. Neymer, here it says, a Zod HaKari Vyumas. A non who works in the base of Mignosh gets Smitsu Bidei Shemayim. And by a Navi, a Navi, a by a false Navi, it says, a Chaleim HaChaleim HaHu Yumas, get Skila. Okay? Oh, meaning like this. By a false prophet, the Torah says Yumas, which means Skila. So Rabbi Kiva says, then when it says here, Azar HaKariv Yumas, should also be Skila. No, 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 two separate things. Just think of false Navi. Who comes and says false Navua gets Skila. And over there it says Yumas. What does Yumas mean? Skila. So here also the Bikiva says he gets Skila. By a false Navi it says he gets Chanik. Okay? Meaning like this. There's, there's a false prophet and a prophet that leads others astray. There's two types of prophets. He says a false prophecy, and then there's a navi that leads other people away, a false navi. So Rabbi Kiva likens it to one that the punishment is skila. And Rabbi Yechem and says, no, we liken it to the navi where you get chanek. Because tam misa, when the Torah says meis yumas, without exactly what it is, is chanek. That we learned already in the Gemara. Right? If the Torah says by Shabbat, the Torah says Skila, by Avay Dezor, the Torah says Skila. But otherwise, you get Chanek. So the Bechem and Nuri says, no, you get Chanek. Okay? Question What does the word you must mean? So the Bishmal says, it means to be the Shemayim. Rabbi Kiva says, it's Skila. And the Bechem and Nuri says, it's Chanek. Each one is defining the word you must. Because sometimes we find the word you must by Misa Bidei Shemayim. Sometimes we find it by Skila. And sometimes we find it by Chanek. So the Gemara is learning when it says Azar HaKarev you must. What, what's the punishment? So there's three Yashitas. Now Rabbi Yishmael says Misa Bidei Shemayim. Rabbi Kiva says Skila. And Rabbi Yechem says Chanek. What you must is Chanek, no? Normally, yeah. Like it. it's, it's more. No, because it's the least of the punishment. But it says must, you must, it must be the highest. Why is Tam Misa Chanek? Because it's the least of the punishments. So if the Torah doesn't say what the punishment is, you go by the least. You go by the least. You can't give them the strictest. You give them by the most lenient one. That the which would be Chanek. Even though we'll learn later in the Gemara, the Gemara says there's different. Remember, we learned the argument of Shmuel, the Pshimim, the Chachamim, Skila, Shreif, Harry, and Chanik. It's a Chachamim's opinion. Rabbi Shmuel, Shreifus, whatever. Okay.